Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are literally going straight into the harvesting of the beans and yes that is not our combine. So that is a contractor we've got in to harvest the beans for us as our big combine is broke to it. We're getting straight into the video straight away. So um, it's actually a minor miracle that we're actually cutting as we got some rain this morning. I don't even know what the moisture is. But um, yeah, so I go and give a hand with these lads here and we'll talk then. But as you can see all around, the skies are very black. But yeah, finish up the harvest. So, just dropped the first sample of beans, 19% moisture, excellent, especially for the rain that we got this morning, wasn't a lot, well it was, it was quite a bit, but it's a very windy breezy day, it's rain in the forecast, and yeah, it's just, it's literally raining two fields over that way from us, it's just missing us at the minute, but if the wind changes at all, we're damned, so yeah, hopefully we get a couple, 19%, it's not bad. On camera, harvest is nearly done. You get this over now, we'll be laughing. It'll be all the grain harvested except for the maize and the beet. Uh, the first two rounds were chopped, but we'll go back now and we'll get the baler and get some straw. But I'll just go back and bring up the baler on this. So, yeah, all of a sudden, but it, yeah, I didn't think this video was going to go ahead. I didn't think we were going to get cut, literally, me and Liver up here earlier in the morning feeding calves, rained. It's like, not, not quite getting cut. Forecast is bad for the week. And I mean bad, I mean bad. Very poor forecast for the week. And the beans are, as you can see there, well, I might show you better when I get back. But the beans are, they're, they're ripe, they're ready to cut. And with the forecast that's in coming, some heavy rain coming, some high winds, be very likely to start shelling to, for the pods to start opening. I'm not going to get turned around there. But yeah, they'll be, they'll be likely to start opening. Now if they do that, then you lose the crop. So 19% moisture, it's the driest I've ever seen our beans coming in at. So happy with that now. Just get this trailer off. We're going to get the baler and we'll bail up this bean straw. It is rough straw, but it has super soakage. I think we actually have some of the bales sold and it's just really good bedding. I very much like the bean straw now. It's really rough but super soaked straw. Yeah, I just put away the camera, I get myself organized and we get back up to the field. But yeah, nothing like a bit of a panic and a rush and some rain all around you to make for a bit of a, a, a panicky kind of a video. So, John Deere baler on, ready to go. Bit on up to the field, we get this done. 10 acres of beans to cut and bale. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, just the rain stays away. That's all we need to worry about. Um, and also, if you're wondering why the tractor's so dirty, that's purely down to uh, Father Phil and Bro spent basically all weekend putting out dung for a customer. So, yeah, it's quite mucky and just don't really have the luxury of time to start into washing the tractor down at the minute for the sake of making a video because I'd rather get all I can done bailed and cut before it rains because it may just it may start raining before I get there and we may get it all done but I just can't afford to go wash it now I can wash it later on when it starts raining or when we're finished but not at the minute so anyways we're bait on I think I am everything good yeah no we have everything so we'll bait on get some bail and then we'll fire up the drone as soon as we get there because just in case we get rained off later it's just hard to know. We're heading that way. Looks like it's raining in front of us. The wind's blowing from that direction, but you can see the rain in that. Yeah, it's just, it's mental at the minute. But anyways, we bay on. Fingers crossed, we get it all done. So, 
up in the field. We're cutting away to the other end. Absolutely flying there at the combine. So these are, these are our beans. This is into the middle of the field where, you know, the best crop of it would be. It's high. It's high as I am. A little bit kind of straw broken back down into itself, but it's getting on the finest there. So this is why I'll be bailing now. It does look rough. It is quite raw of itself, but it's great bedding. Super bedding. So they're cutting away there anyways. Nice bit of that. So we put on these, we'll fire up the drone. We get bailing some drone footage. You know yourself, the usual old crack for a video. And hopefully, the sky is kind of brightened up, but at one stage, just when I was starting the video, I didn't, I normally I'd start the video in the yard, but I was like, nah, there's no way it wasn't raining up here. And I only drove up just to see that it was raining, just so I could say I was there and it rained. But it didn't, so yeah, amazing. But however, wheels on, we get bailing and droning and you know yourself, the usual old crack. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simpler times. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing Dancing on the moon I bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon I bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon I bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon Maybe my compass was wrong And I'm still on my way Closer each day to where I belong I'm still rolling the dice, praying sometimes you don't last it long I'm losing my faith, I'm walking away from what you knew all along Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the way Forget who you are, don't lose your head or your heart. I'll bet my life on your stars, you'll be dancing, dancing on the moon. I'll bet my life, you'll be dancing on the moon. I'll bet my life, you'll be dancing on the moon. Bailing away, throwing us just up there. Um, as you can see, just driving into grass at the minute. A bit disappointed, I didn't realize it was so bad. There's like oh, one part of the field, lovely. Next part of the field, quite grassy. Um, yeah, it's a little bit disappointed there. It's a bit thinner a crop over here too. Uh, to be honest now, it never was really much through the field. But, it's um, getting on there grand. But yeah, just in the real grassy bits, I just, I'm not bothering bale at all because there's no point. Um, it's only going to spoil the bales, so there's like just a bit coming up here. So we have to pick up, we'll just spin around, forget about it. So yeah, a little bit disappointed to see just how bad grassy it is. Now this was sprayed off, oh, could be sprayed off four weeks ago now at this stage. So yeah, it's, it's a bit disappointing to see still how green, like uh, the crop is dead, but very disappointing to see the grass still so green. It's, it's nearly, it's died and come back maybe, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a bit disappointed with that now, I thought we should have got a better kill on it. But um, yeah, look, we're tipping away here. The bales, uh, they'll be all right, they'll go to bed, Captain. 
Um, I just got home and I tested. They're not over heavy, which means that there's not a lot of moisture in them, so that's not a bad sign. Packing relatively tight, but she's still a good firm solid bale and still well able to not push her over, so she's not too bad, but still would like it uh, with a bit less greener, you know, now. You can't always have it the way you want it. So, we're not too far off catching up with the combine now, only a handful of sports. Well, um, yeah, it is what it is up here. Lovely, huge crop, clean as a whistle. Well, it's only this end of the field and a bit over that way. It's, it's, it's a bit odd now, but look, it is what it is. We get harvested 19% moisture the grain or the beans. That's good, that's where we really need it to be. Like, it's the driest we've ever had them. And the straw, look, the straw is the straw, the bed bulls. That's that. I have comments running quite well. I suppose you're probably wondering why don't we pull out that old massive 788 again to cut the beans? And the big issue with that is we've never cut beans with the massive. She should in theory be able for it, but means changing all the settings on it. And beans can be quite hard on a machine. It's beans, it's the tough stock, it's just it's 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 a tougher crop to harvest. And for the sake of just hiring in the contractor to cut it for us and then trying to break our own little 788 or lever that she's not running that well it's not worth the hassle so that's why we're not cutting these with the 788 10 bales made it's not going to be a lot on it but look, it's a few more bales we don't have to be looking for later on in the year. so I've kind of caught up with the combine now so I'll let him do a bit I'm just anywhere where there's a good bit of grass, I'm just not be able to, it's not worth the hassle of the bales not being right. So, this is the other end of the field. So we have a good pod per plant ratio. You know, there's a lot. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty pods on that plant. So some of them are a bit better now. I would this end wouldn't be the best, but it's a light crop it's not over heavy now that's probably the best way of putting it We're very few bales made in comparison to last year last year was a very good crop of beans this year maybe not so much um so yeah a little bit disappointing that way but sure look we'll have the beans we'll have the protein to feed the cattle so yeah just a bit disappointed it probably should be thicker in it and then this grass i don't know why the sprays are all got right but they didn't seem to stop the grass anyways we're right beside our uncovered base just wanted to show you that. Thank you, but windy and I still don't have a mic sorted. I just wanted to show you because this maze has absolutely transformed. Like when I mean transformed, I mean it's amazing. Absolutely. So I just walk out into it now. If I can find my way out. I just really had to bring you out here to show you. Because like one of the last times we were out here. It was pretty mediocre. Now this is just inside the gap. That's the gap there where we always kind of went in and looked and never went too much further. This is what it's like. Look how high it is. Like it's it's near touching on 12 feet high there. And it's it's just looking absolutely super. Like cobs we've got two there. I know there is some tree cobs per plant in some spots. But it is just has done incredibly well that warm month of august absolutely crowned the uncovered maze and it has made leaps and bounds to catch up it won't be harvest the same time there will be maybe three weeks in the difference between harvesting the covered versus this so we'll use two different separate pits but for being what we would have said a quite poor maybe a, a mediocre to poor crop at the start it has absolutely transformed it's very very nice at the minute it's looking very well so it's all down to how these cobs fill and how many what what the fill is like i think i might just be able to cut it open with one hand you can see there it's filling filled nearly up to the top there and it's, it's, there's one missing there it's basically all there it's just in the filling stage so it's still a long way off in comparison to the other maze but yeah the uncovered maze has made some um i don't know even what you call it it's made some growth spurt 
since we were out here last yeah just yeah we're in the area that we power hard shook the seed and power hard in where the birds took it over hmm. that's not bad oh. it is look it's behind it's not where this won't ripen out but oh, we'll no, call no. it as it is but it's not bad the green yeah the green feed it's not bad no it's better than having an idle oh, corner in the yeah. field but um and it's clean. there's no dirt yeah look that's the spotless spotlessly clean yeah. hey the beans weren't that way but sure uh, but can't have it everywhere we're getting the tail end of a hurricane yeah. storm on saturday and friday, friday. so friday. it's just the slight fear that hit me oh the nerve went on here well i don't know how you call that now I'm no. making sure it's going to yield anyway. <laughs> yeah, there is the bit of a fear. What the? I don't know, it's where the crows attacked it or something. This is a different variety now. It's a completely different variety. Completely different variety. Look at all the corn, the, the cobs on it. One, two, three, four. It's quite literally bursting with cobs. Is it? There's a lot of cobs in that as Jeez. Yeah, the off right was in the middle. That, no, Saxon was at the. Well, maybe this could be Saxon. Saxon was sort of up at the upper end, but. It's a lot of cobs. That's a very long cob. Very long. Oh, she's filling. Look at it. They're turning yellow. Yeah. She's filling. They're filling. She's yeah, never seen. Filling. i never seen maize like that, no. That's why. We often cut maize the 10th of November. Yeah. This will be. Something like that. I'm afraid so. So, the, this bit of strong wind that's coming. That's our only bit of concern at the minute that it may put down some of the maze. Which we might be lucky, we might not. It all depends on what way it comes. So the field is very sheltered on all sides except for that side. there enough at that crop. All you can see is cobs. Cobs. Yeah. Cobs. Cobs everywhere. Right, whatever variety is in this part of the field, there's a woeful pile of cobs on it. Yeah. Woeful pile of cobs. It's very good now. Yeah. I'll go finish up the other harvest now. So, Bill, back again. Combine, I don't think he's going to empty the combine again. He's on the last little triangle over there, not too bad a, a square of it, a square of it there. Um, just, just for any of ye who are wondering, what will we be using the beans for? Well, but the variety of beans, they're just known as field beans. They're basically the same as your tin Heinz beans. They're not soya beans or anything like that. They're what we refer to as field beans. So what we'll be using them for is to feed the cattle as they're a high protein crop so they'll make up the protein of our rations for the bulls so what we'll be doing with the beans is we'll be rolling them with some wheat or no we'll be rolling them with oats and we'll be treating them with our alkaline same as what we've done with the barley and they'll be going into the other side of the shed this the meal shed and then we'll feed them out to the bulls we will be leaving by a couple of ton I uh, will be treating them we have some uh, acid left over from last year I uh, will be treating them and putting them storing them for next year to, for feeding the calves when we run out of our calf meal same as all we've done this year it didn't work, it worked out not too bad no we we're quite happy with how well they fed so I think we're going to do the same again keep an extra keep two three ton over for rolling with whatever barley that we leave by for feeding calves next year come june end of june july time when we run out of the meal we buy in it just cheapens the calf rear and or the, the calf job and it kind of worked out not too bad this year not too bad so that's what we're aiming for our field beans and a 19 percent it, it's good a 19 percent moisture it's bang on the money for the for the alkaline additive it's too high to be keeping by themselves so with the bit of propionic acid we have that will keep them perfect for all that length of time. So yeah, that's what we'll be doing with them. We're getting there now, not too much more to do. But um, we'll get wrapped up anyways. So. And then that ends the cereal harvest for the year. And now that is harvest, well, that's the, the grain harvest. It's all the wheat, barley, oats, and beans all cut. All that's left is beet and maize. That's it all over. So they're just kicking apart the combine to go. We have two trailer load of beans, now overpacked. 29 bales of bean straw. Now, 
we would be down because I missed some of it. It's, yeah, look up. It's in between, uh, what would you say, a good and an okay. It's, it's an all right, but yeah, maybe it's just better to say. It's an all right crop of beans. Maybe a little bit thin of itself. The plants were good, just maybe not enough of them. That's kind of how I'd put that. Quick look at some of the beans in the trailer there. But um, yeah, that kind of really does sum it up for the year. No? Combine in is finished. Baler now is empty. Folded up and it's going into the shed for the winter. All done with it. And yeah, well, look at the beans. So hopefully the drawbar's not gone into the ground. No, it's not. Should be able to pick that up. And this is our beans. That is what it looks like. They're good and hard. So let's get them home, find somewhere to put them. We'll probably tip one trailer and roll them straight away and the other trailer load will probably be left for a while until we get to do it. So yeah, that's them. That's field beans, as you, as I said. It's like baked beans in a tin. I'll be plowing this and we'll begin winter barley in it. Uh, or sorry, not winter barley, winter wheat. And winter wheat is supposed to do well after beans. I don't think we've ever, act no, we've never actually put winter wheat after beans. So it'll be interesting to see because the beans fixes nitrogen to the ground so there should be nitrogen in the ground to help the wheat but yeah I don't know if there's much more else to say I'll fold up this baler and and so that concludes the beans the harvest so I think the one big takeaway for the beans next year is kind of what set us back from the very start was probably the way we saw that we broadcast it onto plough ground hired it and then the birds took into it and they took into it but literally the day after it was sowed and they turned up a lot of seeds so many seeds that father phil suggested that we go around with sally rods and push them back into the ground which just wasn't going to happen but um i think that's where our biggest issue was that and probably should have went with a second or should have went with a grass spray later on just to knock that grass before it come to what it was but i didn't do that crop in much harm but it's just left it a little bit dirtier for baling but i think yeah that's that's the big takeaway so hopefully next year we might try using a drill to see how that goes a little bit different because the drill should stop the birds from being an issue but it is what it is it's all right we have our beans and our protein for the bulls to finish them so look we're going to leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck